Yo, what's up, folks? It's your boy, Sports PSP, in the building. Hope you all enjoying your day. Want to talk about the Super Bowl. Of course, there are a lot of things to look forward to in the Super Bowl. As far as Rihanna's halftime Super Bowl show, the game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles, the food, the festivities, uh, the Andy Reid Super Bowl, Andy Reid, head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, going up against his old team, the Philadelphia Eagles. You got the Kelsey Super Bowl between Jason Kelsey of the Philadelphia Eagles and Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, two black quarterbacks in Super Bowl history with Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes. Or the Texas Super Bowl, as well as Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes, because they're both from the state of Texas. So, what are my thoughts? Who do I have winning the Super Bowl? I actually have the Philadelphia Eagles winning the Super Bowl 30-27 to over the Kansas City Chiefs. I think it's going to be a high scoring, high attack game, but I still think that the Philadelphia Eagles, when it counts most, they're going to get the job done. Look, how much does the Super Bowl will impact Patrick Mahomes' legacy as far as winning? Do I think if he wins another Super Bowl, this will elevate him in the GOAT conversation? Yes. He's already a Hall of Famer. There's no question about that. I rather would take five, six years of greatness than let's say 10, 15 years of goodness with Patrick Mahomes. I think he's already a Hall of Famer, but if he does win another Super Bowl, it will elevate his chances as far as the GOAT conversation. But if he loses, I mean, we're going to have to um, modify him being in the conversation with the GOAT though. The reason why I also have the uh, Eagles in the Super Bowl is because look, Patrick Mahomes just won the MVP. The last time someone who's won the MVP and also won the Super Bowl, you got to go back to 1999 uh, with Kurt Warner. That was the last time somebody won the league MVP as well as winning the Super Bowl. And also Kurt Warner did win Super Bowl MVP as well. So that's the last time that's ever happened. It's been now 23 years, 23, 24 years. Will it be, will it happen? I, 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 I highly doubt it because we've seen other quarterbacks who've won a Super won a league MVP, been to a Super Bowl and lost. We've seen Peyton, we've seen Brady, we've seen Cam, we've seen other examples. They, they haven't done it. So I don't know. I mean, it's tough. We've seen other quarterbacks who've won the MVP, but they didn't even get to a Super Bowl. We saw Mahomes in 2018. We saw Aaron Rodgers a lot of times. So I don't know. I just don't see Kansas City winning the Super Bowl because I think the Eagles, they're a better team. Look, even though Kansas City has the better offense, they're number one in team offense. Philly's number two. Passing offense, Kansas City is one. Um, Philadelphia is ninth. Rushing offense. Now, here's on rushing offense. Philadelphia is 5th. Kansas City is 20th. Scoring offense. Philadelphia is 8th. Kansas City is 16th. Points per game. Now, Kansas City is number 1, but Philadelphia is 3rd. Kansas City is going up against the Eagles passing defense. They have the number 1 passing defense in the NFL. You're going up against Darius Slay and the crew. And the Chiefs O-line, they're going to go up against the Eagles D-line, which is no small task. Now, I do believe that the Chiefs offensive line will do a better job protecting Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl compared to what he had to go through two years ago against Tampa. I do not see Patrick Mahomes having those same type of circumstances like that again, especially in tomorrow's Super Bowl. I don't see him having another performance against Philadelphia like he did in Tampa. I, I don't. I don't see that happening. I don't see him having that type of performance in Philadelphia like he did against Tampa because the reason why Tampa won that Super Bowl was in large part because of the Chiefs O-line. They couldn't protect Patrick Mahomes enough and the Chiefs, uh, I'm sorry, the Buccaneers D-line, they went after Patrick Mahomes for the most part. They put pressure on him. It was amazing to see how Patrick Mahomes was able to escape the pocket and make some of those throws out of nowhere. So... I just don't see that. I just don't see that with Mahomes. I do think that the Eagles, with Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, and the crew, they're going to make some key plays 
to stop Patrick Mahomes. If Kansas City does want to win the Super Bowl offensively, though, they should try to run the football more. Because if you look at Philadelphia's um, rushing defense, they're 17th. They're 17th in rushing defense. So you may want to try to help out Patrick Mahomes as far as the running game um, with Clyde Edwards-Alaire, Isaiah Pacheco. And maybe if Mahomes is healthy enough, he's going to run with the football a little bit. Do not be surprised at all. Patrick Mahomes is going to scramble for at least seven, eight yards here and there. So I do think if Kansas City can run the ball effectively against that Eagles defense, because as I mentioned, they're 17th in rushing defense. I think they can be fine. But it's going to be tough. I still think the Chiefs are going to score points. They're going to score 27 points. But I think the Eagles defense are going to make some key plays with their D-line. Um, their secondary, Eagles secondary, they got the number, they got the best passing defense in the NFL. They're the number one passing defense. I think the Eagles secondary are very good. We all know Mahomes is going to get Kelsey the football a lot of times. If you can limit Marquez Valdez-Scantling, if you could also limit Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, Justin Watson, as well as other players on the Chiefs roster, I think the Eagles will be just fine. And then when you look at the other side of the football between Kansas City's uh, defense going up against the Eagles offense. Look, Chris Jones had a monster game in that AFC Championship game. But he's going up against the Eagles O-line with Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson. And we saw what they did in the NFC Championship game against the San Francisco 49ers. We saw the job Lane Johnson did on Nick Bosa, who won Defensive Player of the Year. We saw what they did against San Francisco's defense. That was the best defense in the NFL. And they just picked them apart in that NFC Championship game. Jalen Hurts, I do actually see him winning the Super Bowl MVP. I think he will play well enough. The only way for the Chiefs defense to stop the Eagles offense, your, the Chiefs secondary, they're going to have to make some key plays like they did in the AFC Championship game. They were able to win because they won the turnover battle. They were able to get two interceptions on Joe Burrow that game. So um, if they can make some plays here and there, but how are they going to do it against A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith? They had a tough time going up against Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. So this is not chopped liver for Kansas City secondary. Um, but... We talk about how great Philadelphia is running the football. And they are fifth in the NFL as far as rushing offense, as I mentioned. Kansas City's rushing defense, they're eighth. They are eighth in the NFL as far as rushing defense. So I think if you can limit the run, if you're Kansas City, and if you can also keep Jalen Hurts inside the pocket as much, Steve Spagnuolo is going to have to draw up something. But if you can limit the running game, keep Jalen Hurts in the pocket, I think you have a good enough chance for Kansas City to win the game. How much do I think that a Super Bowl will impact Philadelphia and for Jalen Hurts? Like I said, win or lose, the Philadelphia Eagles need to give Jalen Hurts a long-term extension. He's the right type of quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles because he has all the intangibles in the world and he's gotten significantly better as a passer. And I also think it will be absolutely crazy in Philadelphia. Look at five years ago when they won the Super Bowl against the New England Patriots. They are going to destroy Philadelphia if the Eagles win another Super Bowl. It is going to be a crazy-ass atmosphere in Philadelphia if the Eagles do win another Super Bowl. I do see that happening. Um... How, but look, legacy. As I mentioned with Patrick Mahomes, if he does win another Super Bowl, it does elevate him in the GOAT conversation. If it does, um, if Andy Reid does win a Super Bowl, you're going to have to start putting him in the conversation with top five coaches of all time because we all know how great of a head coach he is. I think for Nick Sirianni, he wins a Super Bowl here. Oh, this is going to be big for him because he's going to be considered, and he's already considered one of the best head coaches in the NFL. Winning a Super Bowl here, extra validation. And as far as with Jalen Hurts, 
This will debunk all the naysayers that he's a systems quarterback. That that he that he only fit well in a system because that's what people have been saying with Jalen Hurts. If he wins a Super Bowl as well, he will debunk the narrative that he's a systems quarterback. So I think this is going to be a thrilling, down to the wire game, high scoring, high office offensive game. I think this is tailor made to a type of Super Bowl fans are going to be freaked out about. But I, I'm gonna go Eagles 30 to 27. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm talking way too much. My my chest is killing me. But anyway, um let me know in the comment section below, guys. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl between the Chiefs or the Eagles? What are you look looking forward to in the Super Bowl? How much does a win or a loss impact Patrick Mahomes' legacy, Andy Reid's legacy, Jalen Hurts, the Philadelphia Eagles legacy? Who do you also have winning the Super Bowl MVP? What are you anticipating? What do you want to see in the Super Bowl? And so much more. Besides that, it's your boy Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoying the rest of your day. And as usual, folks, God bless.